When I was in medical school, we had one lecture on lower back pain. Lower back pain is one of the top one or two leading causes of disability in the United States. Neck pain is number four, according to one or two studies that I've recently read. But in, in my medical school training, there was one lecture on lower back pain. This was several years ago. The take-home message from that lecture was that most causes of lower back pain are not specific. I thought a lot about that lecture since medical school, and I think that most causes of lower back pain are specific, and there are specific reasons for patients to have lower back pain. One area that is a specific cause of lower back pain that is being increasingly recognized is sacral ileitis. Sacral ileitis is a lower back pain that is usually felt low in the back and a little bit off to the side, right over where the sacral iliac joint is. The sacral iliac joint is the joint between the sacrum and the ilium or the pelvis. And it is a large joint with very little motion. It's surrounded by a capsule and it is responsible for transmitting the forces of our upper body down to our lower extremities. So it's under a lot of pressure. Patients with sacroiliac joint pain should be handled and managed very differently than patients with pain from a disc issue or a facet joint problem or a ligamentous injury in the lower back or a sacral stress fracture or a hip issue or a piriformis syndrome. In our practice, we have tried to help identify as many of the specific causes of lower back pain for the patients as we can. We recently had our advanced practitioners attend a seminar on sacroiliitis, for example, and we discussed lower back pain issues in our weekly rounds regularly. Sacroiliitis is very common. 40% of patients that have had a lumbar fusion that still have lower back pain probably have it coming from their sacroiliac joint. Sacroiliac pain is very common in patients that are pregnant in patients that have had multiple pregnancies, in patients after trauma, and in patients with degenerative changes in their lower back and throughout their musculoskeletal system. Sacral ileitis is an example of a pathology that requires good spine management. There's chiropractic treatment, there's physical therapy, there's injections, there's surgery, good nutrition, stretching exercise, and yoga are important in just about every uh, spinal pathology, but with, with, in particularly with sacroiliitis. Once the diagnosis is made, patients will typically do some physical therapy and they may do an injection or two. And then surgery is offered for patients whose symptoms are persistent and not resolved with non-surgical treatment. I hope that in our evaluations in our clinic, we can be open-minded about patients with all different kinds of pain and get to the root cause. Patients should understand the symptoms associated with sacroiliitis and understand that it is a possible source of pain uh, in the low back that is specific and can be managed specifically for good outcomes.